And we're following a news alert this morning as leaders and businesses dig into President Biden's new COVID mandates. The one really sparking debate is that businesses with 100 employees or more now being mandated to require employees to get vaccinated or be tested weekly. Fox Carolina's Lindsay Gibbs is live in Greenville talking to people. She's also running through this new info for us. Margaret and this is going to affect a lot of people, especially here in the upstate within the Postal Service, BMW and medical services as well. We've been out downtown talking with a lot of people. They have mixed feelings about this mandate, but we want to break it all down for you right now. Now, as of Thursday, President Joe Biden announced he's requiring vaccinations for all federal workers, including millions of contract employees working with the government, plus healthcare workers employed in hospitals or practices billing Medicare or Medicaid will Will also be required to get vaccinated. The Department of Labor is also creating a mandate for businesses with over 100 employees to get vaccinated or submit weekly COVID testing. President Biden says the mandate comes as COVID surges once again across the nation. A lot of people here in the upstate are against this mandate, especially over on our social media page. But we also talked to people here downtown this morning. Take a listen. I think a lot of people will be all for it. I think there's a lot of people who will be uh, against it and maybe vocal about it, but I think there's a majority of people who strongly believe it's past time for people to get vaccinated. We're told employees impacted will have 75 days to get vaccinated or risk being fired. Now, coming up, we did speak with a lawyer here in the upstate that's going to break down the legality of this and if businesses could be reprimanded if they don't comply. Back to you.